All right, just a quick demo of how this oscilloscope works from JYE Tech. Uh, just plug it in, and it starts up. And I already hooked up the signal generator over here, the test signal. As you can see, it generates a square wave. Um, so let's see, the, let's start with the switches. So the switches are obviously scale, let's see, I got some glare, there I guess, um, so scale shows you 5 volts, 2 volts, 1 volt, and then if you change this switch here, it changes your step from 1 volt to 0 0.1. So you have 0.5 volts there, 0 0.2, and 0 0.1. And the wave is bigger than that, so I think it's what? So we got 1 volt per, per step, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and a half. And then on this switch you can switch to ground which disconnects it gives you the zero so there's that um yeah let's see i've got it in ac mode now so my wave is basically centered and i can switch it to dc get the wave basically at the baseline there and then the frequency monitor switch to that it tells you the frequency so 501 Hertz for the test signal uh, let's see what else these switches over here obviously seconds per division when this is highlighted you use the plus and minus button to change the time window there and it can go all the way up to a minute two minutes five minutes ten minutes so if you had a, like a really slow signal that might be useful but let's see it looks like this is about a 10 millisecond square wave or one millisecond square wave here because it's my steps are 0.5 it's going over two of them there yeah that's correct yes would it be 500 yeah 500 because it's two milliseconds for each cycle so let's see what else uh, vertical position obviously you can uh, you can move the wave up and down I like to keep it centered, kind of. <laughs> uh, horizontal position, you can select your, move your window back and forth. This plus is forward in time. You can see the cursor kind of move down there. Uh, trigger mode, let's see. If you click the level button, you can set the trigger level. If you look, the trigger level is indicated by a little tiny triangle right there. And you can move it up and down. Uh, the slope button changes whether you want the rising or falling trigger. So falling rising and it's not starting exactly on the trigger point because my windows it's not centered so um what else oh fft mode it has that so you hold the mode button down it goes into fft mode 
you can kind of see if I change this. Uh, what do I need? I need t it taller. There we go. So you can see the makeup of a square wave as being different amplitudes of certain frequencies added together. That's square waves, really a bunch of sine waves added together. And FFT is really helpful for kind of sorting that out. Guess that doesn't do anything. Anyway, to exit that, it is just a single press, not a long press again. Uh, let's see. So there we go. Very simple to use. It has only very few functions, uh, but they're all straightforward, just like I guess any other oscilloscope, you know. It, and that's really all it has, is everything that I showed there. That's it. So it's handy for some for some basic stuff. But yeah, if you need anything more complicated, obviously you're going to have to spend money. But for 50 bucks, I think this is pretty cool. It can at least help me determine things like, oh, if a receiver pin is broken, something like that. I've had that problem where a servo wasn't moving, I didn't understand why, or maybe... A motor on a multi-copter isn't responding right you know maybe you can hook this up and see okay is the signal at least being sent right because these would be great for examining PWM signals that are the RC control standard so if you're an RC enthusiast and you want to do testing on your systems I think this would work great for you you save a lot of money you know it does the basic stuff that you need